But Akers has got a he's got a big leg. We'll see what can happen here. My first kickoff in a regular season NFL game went down to about the 10 yard line. Not that great, you know, a distance, but a lot of hang time. So Steve Richard for the Seahawks catches it. He hits right up the middle. He cuts it out to his right and is gone 90 yards for a touchdown on my first kickoff in the NFL. It's like, welcome. Place kicker David Akers' NFL debut with the Washington Redskins only got worse. So I had a kickoff return, missed two field goals. Oh, and I had to do an onside kick that we did not get. So needless to say, I was cut the next day. In just one game, it seemed that David's dream of being an NFL kicker ended before it even got started. But then he got a second chance. He was picked up by Philadelphia and for the next 11 years was on top of the world, racking up five Pro Bowl selections. He was also raising three kids with his wife Erica and growing in his relationship with God. Life was good. Everything in our life was going peachy. I mean, financially we're doing great, our kids are healthy, we're happy, I've got a great career going on, I've got a lovely wife, and our marriage is strong. Everything's wonderful. But storms were on the horizon, and David would find out how much he needed God. It started in 2009. David had been putting money away into what seemed to be a solid investment for retirement. I started getting calls at a place where I had my, my investments. Um, looked like that there were some illegal things that were going on. And so the David had fallen into a Ponzi scheme and was one of 300 people who were victimized. He says he lost close to $5 million. And I was like, how do we lose everything? I've worked all, I finally make it the dream to play in the NFL, do all this. I haven't lived outside my means. I don't have the Ferraris and, and all the different cars and, and blown in on jewelry or whatever. Now I wish I would have, you know? Somebody else is getting a chance to do that, not me. So it was very, very frustrating, like a why God moment. Still reeling from this financial wipeout, David had a rough start to the 2010 season, but his wife gave him the encouragement he needed. And my wife's like, you know what? Have some faith. You know, God is gonna, you know, he's gonna hold you with this. This is good, you're gonna be fine. Every field goal I made was like 40 some yards. I had um, all touchbacks, both directions, win or into the win. It was a great day. I come back in and thinking my wife's gonna say, yeah, out of the way. She goes, don't you ever doubt God again. That was her text to me. But David would have to trust God for something far more important than a football game. His six-year-old daughter, Hallie, was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer and her left ovary had to be removed. The timing couldn't have been worse. From the time of the prognosis to the time of the surgery, I had to play a game. And not just any game. The Eagles faced the Packers in the playoffs, a trip to the Super Bowl on the line. David's concern for his daughter clouded his performance. And I had a horrible game. I missed two kicks. Now, my wife said I was never mentally there. I always felt like I could put stuff away. But you know, maybe I didn't on that day. We lost by five points. I missed two field goals. As Andy Reid said, you do the math. Later that year, David left the Eagles. But things started looking up. By now, his daughter had completely recovered, and he got picked up by the 49ers. He had a great season and even tied the NFL record when he kicked a 63-yard field goal. but more storms were on the way. I felt like I'm just never getting out of one. It like, the sun might peak and then thunder and lightning again, you know? But to say my faith was challenged would, would be a, uh, it would be putting it lightly. The following season, David had double hernia surgery and his performance suffered. It was a mess, like, you know, they brought guys in to compete, you know, in the playoffs. It was like, what's going on here, you know? And 
To me, the biggest hurt was hurting my, my team, you know, letting them down. But the team did make it to the Super Bowl, and David pulled it together, making all three of his field goal attempts. Still, San Francisco lost 28-23. I can tell you, at the end of the Super Bowl, uh, I cried because, like, I think the whole emotion of the year just came down on me. Once again, he was released, and since then, has signed with Detroit. David says that over the years, he's learned to trust that God will guide him through life's storms, but admits it's still tough. I'd read Romans 5, 3 through 5, you know, talking about in, rejoice in the trials and the sufferings. Who rejoices in trials and sufferings? It is brutal. But he says it's the next verse in Romans 5 that's the kicker. Because through that, you know, it's the perseverance. And then I can make that same understanding in my football life. Because without perseverance, like three times and getting cut, now four times, that if you don't persevere and get through that, then you don't have that refining period. And the refining period is developing your character. And then it's through God and his hope through Jesus that gives us that, the grace that you can fall back on.